Hey friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my chemical peel routine which helps to keep my acne at bay and it also helps to heal and treat my existing hyperpigmentation. This video isn't sponsored but I'm going to be using one of my favorite brands, Makeup Artist Choice. Be sure to check out the description box because I'm going to leave lots of information about the products. So for this treatment I'm going to be using a glycolic acid peel which in my opinion is an all-purpose peel because it helps to remove dry, dead, and dull skin. It refines and smooths texture, it unclogs and cleans pores, and it helps to brighten the skin. Although plastic gloves are not made when you're performing this service on yourself, I like to keep it as sterile as possible so I always wear them. So when you purchase a Makeup Artist Choice specifically, you can either order the peel separately or order it as a kit. I recommend it as a kit because with a kit you get a pH prep solution and so the prep solution helps to bring your skin's pH level down to about a 2.7 which helps to ensure a deep penetrating peel that goes below the surface that helps to remove clogged pores and hidden blemishes. It also helps to clean out dirt and oils and it prevents bacteria from getting into the skin and causing irritation which could lead to more breakouts. It is now time for us to apply the acid. Acid. The way that I like to do it to make sure I get an even coating and no area is processed more than the other is working counterclockwise. So wherever I start on my face is where I want to end. You also want to make sure you get those nooks and crannies so around your mouth and your nose as much as you can take it. If you can get semi close to your eye just to get rid of your fine lines and wrinkles. Of course you don't want to get the solution too close to your eye. I've been using this product for well over two years. It has helped my hyperpigmentation significantly. It literally stops my acne in its tracks. So whenever I have a flare up I do my chemical peel and it will be gone within almost 48 hours at this point so after I do my first layer I do about three to five more layers of the product and I also make sure to do my lips but I save my lips for very last because your lips only have about five layers of skin as opposed to your face which has about 16 so it's a lot thinner and I don't want to burn them each peel usually comes with instructions of how long to let the product process around a two three minute mark you'll experience some tingling anything much longer than five minutes you run the risk of burning your skin so you do not want to leave the peel on for too long especially depending on how many layers you have on and I like to use the timer on my phone to keep track of how long it's been on. And to initially remove the acid, I like to rinse my skin either in cool or lukewarm water. To cleanse my skin post peel, I'm going to be using Makeup Artist Choice Green Tea Pomegranate Cleanser. If you saw my most recent skincare video, which went up about a month ago, you're familiar with this product now. If not, I'd love for you to know that it has topical antioxidants, which help to calm sensitive and reactive skin. It helps to fight against free radicals, which help to give you youthful skin. It also helps to retain moisture, improve circulation, brighten skin, promotes collagen and elastin, and it's wonderful for the healing of acne. With this product, I clean and cleanse my skin for about 60 seconds. And these are my results post peel. You can see my skin is a lot brighter and a lot more supple. Before I add my topical products to close out my routine, I just want to make sure that I'm patting dry my skin gently because I don't want to irritate it in its current state. Immediately after I cleanse my skin, I want to go in with Advanced Clinicals Vitamin C Serum. This product is going to help fade my dark spots, even my overall tone, and help to brighten my skin. I'm going to work it in, in an upward motion, which is also going to help to lift and plump the skin. So pretty much this product is just a reinforcement of the peel that we just did. Immediately following my serum, I'm going to go in with Trader Joe's Oil-Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. I love this product so much because it's lightweight, it's perfect for all skin types, it's fragrance-free, and it's also paraben-free. And the very last thing I like to use is my Rosebud Solve Lip Balm, which helps to calm and heal irritation, and it also soothes the sting of minor burns. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to also check out the description box for more information about these products. And God willing, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Stay safe!